So this week was Beach Week. We started out at Corova Beach and moved to Corolla Beach. And there is a three minute explanation in the middle of this video to let you know how that went down. It's a very interesting story. There are also a couple of really horrible iPhone photos um, in the dark because the video would have been even worse and I had to share just a little bit about what was going on because it was amazing. So yeah, that's it. He and I left Saturday from Georgia to come up to up the North Carolina coast, almost to Virginia, to Corova, Cor Corava, whatever, beach that required four-wheel drive. You had to drive in the sand to get to the house, um, <laughs> except that nobody said you had to drive on the actual beach. Everybody assumed it was like sa it was sand roads in between the houses and not on actual beach. Well, it, it turns out it's actual beach. And we did that at two in the morning um, on Sunday morning getting here and that was a lot of fun. But the best part is, is there are wild ponies all over this area. So we frequently had to stop on the beach to let herds of ponies run across the sand. It was amazing, mind-blowing, and I really wish I could have gotten video of it, but it was so dark you wouldn't have been able to see anything. Um, yeah, so it was really, really cool. Uh, so we get to the house, and we discovered that the house has no water. The well or the pump, something is wrong with the house water. So we, we get there, and we're hot and tired and sticky, and all we wanted was showers and bed, and we couldn't get either one of those. So. We rolled into bed and that was that and woke up in the morning and the plumbers were there and um, Pea's family is, is doing their best to finagle to try to figure out what is going on with the pump or the well or whatever's wrong with it. So um, turns out that the, there was something wrong with the pump but the well is also dry at the house. So we had to pack right back up and get back in the car and scramble to find another place to stay because all of us had driven over 12 hours to get here, so nobody wanted to call it quits. 
So P got on the phone and finally found a house in um, a, a fancy resort kind of community and we moved in yesterday um, and actually got some beach time so that was a lot of I was really impressed the way that that all worked out I definitely felt like the grown-ups handled that <laughs> and, and <laughs> peace um, nephews and and niece-in-law I guess we were all sitting on the floor watching P and his sister <laughs> and his brother-in-law um, handle all of that mess so that was a lot of fun I enjoyed that I enjoyed being enjoyed being one of the kids and not having to worry about the stress of figuring out where on earth are we gonna go um, anyway so we found this great house and um, a great walk to the beach so we, the old house you had to go the one on Corova you had to go over a giant sand dune to get down to the beach where people park on the beach and they're four-wheel drive trucks which is weird so you have this four-lane highway going on the beach near the dunes um, and then a whole parking lot right on the sand and then a whole bunch of people it looked like Panama City Beach that morning it was so busy and so the the water thing was really a blessing because um, we, we the beach that's in front of the new house is much more laid back and much less crowded because it's a private community and we're we're pleased we're very pleased much better house much better beach much better location Each other with sweetness and light, and we'll see you next Sunday. <laughs>